Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how to host a Minecraft Pocket Edition 0.13.0 server using your Android device. So before we get started, I do want to point out a few things about using this method as opposed to using the PC method where you can use like a Windows computer to host it or Linux or what have you. I do want to point some things out about this because really this isn't the you know best solution to a permanent Minecraft Pocket Edition server because you know if you're hosting it on a phone, it's something that you take places and it's not going to be on the same network all the time. So your server is going to drop a connection and then you can host it again and then you're going to use a ton of data uh, if you have a limited data plan that or a data cap you know that would definitely uh, be a mess and also phones and tablets aren't near as powerful as modern PCs so hosting you know a big server isn't really going to be realistic maybe on a tablet like this I have a Nexus 7 2013 I could host you know 10 to 15 players on my Galaxy Note 4 over here I could probably host you know 20 to 25 and that's really pushing it so yeah, you're not going to be able to host a big server and it's, you know, mostly temporary because, you know, the best you could do is to have like a tablet that sits in a room and, you know, hosts it all the time, but still it's battery powered and so you'd have to have it on a charger all the time, which isn't good for the battery and just, you know, so on and so on. So it's not, you know, the best solution, but maybe, you know, if you just want to, you know, get together with some friends and play on a server, then it would be useful, you know, because you're limited to like five players on a local multiplayer server. Uh, so if you're all on different networks and you want to play on a server, this would definitely be a good solution. And for, uh, for the person who is actually hosting the server, like if I uh, started it right now, I could still join it from Minecraft Pocket Edition on this device. So uh, it does work that way and that is pretty cool. So that's what it's mostly for, not so much for hosting big servers. So uh, here we go. Uh, what you're going to need is Pocketmine MP. It's the Android app on the Google Play Store. I'll have a link for that in the description. Uh, just open that once you have it installed and then uh, wait for it to load. Select the development build at the bottom. Hit download. Should take uh, you know just a few seconds. Uh, you can go through this right away, but I'm going to save that for later. Just hit save in the bottom right, and you know your server is kind of ready to go. But the thing is, it's not updated to work with 0.13.0. So what you're also going to need to do is go down into the into the description of this video and get PocketMine 1.7. So that is the version that it does support 0.13.0. I don't think it's an actual official build from uh, the PocketMine developers, but once you have that installed, get something like ES File Explorer. That's what I just opened up. I'll have a link for that in the description as well. It's on the Google Play Store. Uh, swipe over to your files here, and then you can see you have your downloads folder uh, somewhere in this uh, main folder. So click on that. You can see the PocketMine thing is right there. Whoops. So let's go ahead and just rename that to PocketMine-MP. This, whoop. Let's get rid of the uh, ending parts here. So it's just PocketMine.MP or dash MP uh, dot far. Press and hold on it, select cut, go to the PocketMine folder, which is right here, paste it in, overwrite, and there it's ready to go for 0.13.0. So let's go ahead and open this back up again. Uh, you don't have to restart the app or anything like that. And let's just go ahead and select start. So it's running. If you select that little like uh, monitor icon up here, that would be the console. Select that. And you can see how well the server is doing and just type in commands and stuff from here. Uh, wait for it to say done. You can see it says it right at the very bottom. It says done and tells you how long it took to start up. And now the server is ready to go. But we want to configure it and make it so it's more personalized and people know that it's our server and set it up the way that we want it. So let's go ahead and just type stop. And that will obviously stop the server. And now it is stopped. Or alternatively, you can just hit the stop button right there. I did kind of forgot about that. Uh, so let's go ahead and go to the settings in the top right. Select properties editor, and that'll take us back to this screen where we can set up our server. So we can change our server name to, uh, I'll just do Dogger 2011. Um, server description, uh, Dogger 2011. Message of the day, welcome app player to the server, that's fine. Uh, the game mode, we'll just do survival. Uh, no hardcore. I always disable PvP. Whoops. There we go. Uh, I'll just do normal. Maximum players. I'm going to just set it to 15. Uh, spawn protection. I'm going to leave that. 
Uh, the whitelist is just so you can only have like a certain, you know, or you you can only allow certain players to play. So if you just want people with, you know, a specific username to play, then turn on the whitelist and then add them to it. Or you can just leave it disabled and then anybody can join with any username. Uh, you can also allocate the amount of RAM that you want to it. Uh, you want to uh, go to the server. So by default, it is 128 megabytes. Uh, but you can change that. So this is a two gigabyte tablet. I think it's got two gigs of RAM. Yeah, it does. So I could do something like 512. That's half of a gigabyte. And uh, you know that would be a little bit better. If you have just a gig, maybe go with 256. And even then, it might be a little high. So maybe 128 would be a better option. I don't know. Uh, view distance. If you turn your view distance down, that will improve the performance. So I'm going to take that to half of what the default is and then select save. So there we go. Server is ready to go. So I'm going to go ahead and hit start. And it says unable to start server, of course. So let's go ahead and just close out of the app completely. There we go. Server is now running. I don't know what the problem was. So just give it a chance to start up. Shouldn't take all that long. And there we go. So instead of loading up the uh, server on my tablet, since I have issues with my screen recording, I'm just going to go ahead and join with my phone. And you can see in the log there, it does say that Steve joined, and which is my phone, which is running 0 0.13.0, although I forgot to put any... Uh, screen recording software on so I guess I can't show you so it's still loading I guess I can try to join from uh, my tablet hopefully this doesn't screw the video up There we go. Oh wow, that was fast. My phone is like not even close to that. And that is pro part of the problem is because it's depending a, a lot on the uh, the tablet to generate this world right now and that would uh, explain the very, very slow loading. Actually now they're about the same. So while this is loading I do want to talk about port forwarding. So. This is always the worst part because I can't actually show you port forwarding so much because the method to port forward on your router would be you know different for everybody obviously because we don't all have the same routers. So uh, port forwarding basically allows people to you know allow access or you know connect through a specific port on your router to uh, you know connect to like the server for example. That was a really horrible way to explain it, but. Uh, yeah, so currently, you know, the port 19132 is the default, and that is closed on your router. So anybody who tries to make a connection through it uh, would be refused access. So that's why you need to look up port forwarding for your specific router model. So figure out whatever yours is. Hey, we're in. Uh, sp uh, figure out what your specific model is, and then uh, you can go ahead and look up a tutorial for it. So I have like a Netgear Nighthawk, so I would go on Google and look up how to port forward a Netgear Nighthawk router, and then there'd be you know different videos and uh, forums and stuff that would have a tutorial for it. So just do that. Look at your router and figure out what the model is, and then you should be good to go from there. But if you have any questions, let's leave your comments down below. All right, so here we go. There's my phone right there all on this server <clears throat> so let's go ahead and go back to the console and this is where you can do some more cool stuff so let's go ahead and op steve so that gives them uh... which is this obviously my phone uh... that'll give him or her whatever uh... uh... admin basically on the server so they, they can run commands and then on my phone it says you are now op and then i just hit my lock button of course uh, there we go. So this is where you can also type in like game mode, uh, game mode creative Steve. I think I might have done that backwards. Whoops. Oh yep. So now my uh, my phone is in creative mode, and you can also run all of these in game as well. I don't really like to use the in game chat so much because I don't think it. I don't know. I always screw it up when I'm using the chat. But yeah, if you go here. And just put a slash if I can tap it. 
you could do like slash game mode one like that oh i didn't op myself whoops op <laughs> that's embarrassing there we go now i'm op there we go so i could do like again slash game mode one and that would put me into creative so yeah that's how you do it again this isn't really like a good uh, you know solution to hosting a big server or a permanent server but if you you know if you and a, fr a friend or a few friends want to just uh, you know play on different networks and just get a group going you know this is a good solution it will handle that you can see you know my game isn't lagging that much you know, or it's not lagging really on my end at all I don't know how the video is gonna turn out uh, but you know it's I mean when that's really impressive to think I mean I'm hosting a server there's two of us on here I'm playing the game I'm recording my screen at the same time and it's still you know it's not choppy it's smooth and the server isn't lagging although I am on the same network so that explains part of it so yeah I mean it does work again not the best permanent solution uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and kick Steve kick Steve there we go bye bye Steve so yeah, that's it. If you have any questions or issues, just leave a comment down below and I'll do my best to answer those. And I hope you all enjoyed this video and I hope to see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.